So the first device in asset protection planning is an agreement to create a mutual estate plan. So the way this works is both spouses sign off on a joint revocable trust, let's say. Upon the first spouse's death, that trust cannot be changed. Uh, so there is a lockup at the first spouse's death and the surviving spouse cannot change the rules after one spouse is gone. Then upon the second spouse's death, the assets distributed, avoiding probate, and go to the beneficiaries both parties agreed on. So the benefit here is that the surviving spouse still has full use of the assets. So they could go on a trip around the world, they could improve their house, they could buy a car, anything they want, uh, as long as they don't change where the assets go upon their death. Uh, the benefit here is that you, they cannot change where the assets go upon their death. So that would address some of the predator concerns, uh, meaning people forcing or coercing the estate plan to be changed, adding them as either a party or adding them as a greater beneficiary. Uh, there are no limits, or sorry, you can place limits on gifts and loans in this type of agreement. Uh, for example, you could state that um, if one spouse is gone, the survivor agrees never to give any gifts over $1,000 a year, for example. Uh, and if any gift is given, that it must be given equally to all parties. Or if there's a loan, all parties have to agree. Uh, so those are the benefits here. The drawbacks, though, there's still no creditor protection. Because the assets are still owned by the surviving spouse, the creditors can get to those assets. And another con is that the spouse has full use of the assets. You're probably thinking, well, isn't that listed above as a pro? Well, it's just as equally relevant as a con because if that surviving spouse spends the assets in a way that is uh, unwise or purchases things or pays for things that are contrary to uh, reasonable standards, there's no protection and that spouse can spend things on anything they like. Uh, that includes if they remarry and spend assets on the new spouse uh, because if they're not giving gifts or if they're not giving away assets after their life, they're not violating the plan. Also, let's say this agreement is in place, your dad dies, your mom survives, and your mom is acting contrary to the agreement, you would have to sue your mom. Uh, and that's never a good thing to have to do to enforce the agreement uh, if a surviving spouse decided on their own to act contrary to the terms. 